Welcome to Probing for Spiritual Answers with Bishop W. F. Houston, Jr. This morning's question to Bishop Houston is, Bishop Houston, I pray in tongue. I have been told many times that speaking in tongue is evil, and I have a demon in me. Bishop, I feel connected to God when I pray and speak in tongue. And I fellowship with a church that speaks in tongue. Bishop, is it demonic to speak in tongues? Here is Bishop Houston's answer. My beloved, you have asked a fantastic question. And my answer is, absolutely not. Beloved, there's nothing wrong with speaking or praying in tongue. When you request our Heavenly Father for any of His assurances, you'll never be granted something that's evil. In Luke chapter 11 verses 10 to 13, coming from the Amplified Bible, Jesus said, For everyone who keeps on asking persistently, receives. And he who keeps on seeking persistently, finds. And to him who keeps on knocking persistently, the door will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will give him a snake, instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you, then, being evil, that is, sinful by nature, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask and continue to ask him? In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 14, coming from the Amplified Bible, says, For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unproductive, because it does not understand what my spirit is praying. Beloved, what we see right here is, the I who was performing the praying was Paul. He was the one speaking in an unknown tongue, but his spirit did the praying. It's not a surprise that Satan attempts to establish apprehension and misunderstanding about asking for the gift of speaking in tongue. It also says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 coming from the Amplified Bible. For one who speaks in an unknown tongue, does not speak to people but to God. For no one understands him or catches his meaning. But by the Spirit, he speaks mysteries, secret truths, hidden things. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 to 5 tells us that the carnal man's mind is the devil's battlefield. Beloved, every time a Christian is prohibited from praying in the spirit or believe, speaking in tongues is evil or of the devil, they're delayed from entering into the profound things of God. Satan is very concerned when it comes to you having a close and personal relationship with your Heavenly Father. He'll do anything to stop it. Don't ever allow Satan's tactics to end your time alone with God. Always, go boldly before your Heavenly Father with your aspirations to uncover the profound events of God and be prepared to be inducted into the Spirit along with speaking with your gift of speaking in tongue. Beloved as you walk on the jewels of God's wisdom, you'll filter out evil, its realm of obscurity, and its negative energy. Amen. Thank you for listening to Probing for Spiritual Answers with Bishop W.F. Houston, Jr. We here at CHOF and WFH Jr. Ministries hope Bishop Houston's answer has helped you. Have a blessed Wednesday.